What's up everyone and welcome to the Deceptor Lab and welcome to the fourth installation of my Art of War series. Today we're gonna to talk a little bit about bot deployment and combiner deployment. And I wanna focus in particular on this one base that's becoming really, really popular in the game. And I'll show you some strategies to beat it as well. So stay tuned, I'll get everything set up on the battlefield and I'll be right back. to the battlefield and so if you look at the screen here you can see this new base is really starting to take over the meta and we'll just take a look around for a couple of things that we are actually going to focus on so i'm going to start off by talking about the outpost spots that i got here so on the front side here i got a martyr megatron uh, with ability 11. in this case i got dirge in the center and i've also got scourge out there on the outside <clears throat> So for those of you on the Autobot side, then we'll be talking about LOP, we're talking about Blades, and you're talking about Swoop, uh, and that's how I got it set up so far. Now the back is really what's going to be the killer when you're scouting, especially if anybody's gone before you in a war situation, then one of the things you can look at, you can actually see my combiner outpost also where I've got Lyle Kaiser, Computron for you guys on the Autobot side. Now, often what I'll see is I see Quellagon and Twin Twist back in this very back section just because his ability is so long, uh, 20 seconds long, and you're right there in the kill zone up there at the top of this base. And so that's really, really going to be our point of focus. And so we'll take a look at that uh, in addition to taking a look at all of the, the key the key prime cores, the, the key power cores that we're going to be looking for as well. So let's take a look at those power cores. Now, when I look at this base, one thing that I really look at heavily is just how close the outposts are to each other. Like you can see one on each side here, one in the middle and one on each side. So the key thing that I look at now is I start to look harder in this amalgamous prime core which is going to increase the outpost bot's movement and attack speed and restore 20% of their health. Uh, for this maxed out one, it's going to be every, every five seconds. So this is going to be something that I target, something that I'm going to prioritize early to make sure that I'm not going to a long drawn out battle with any of the outpost bots. The other thing that I'm really going to be looking for is when I come to the back, the, this auto cannon has a Leech Maximo core on it and now it'll hack your whole team. In this case, a maxed out version of it. So it'll be a total of 11 seconds that your team will be hacked and attacking each other instead of uh, attacking the final little section there of the HQ. And you're also in the kill zone for where there's a lot of defenses. You got both of your MDS back here. You know, you got a, you got a mortar up here, Megatronus. So those are really the key areas that I want to do that I want to take care of in addition to popping all of the outpost spots. So let's actually go take a run with one of my, with my war team and we'll take a look to see how exactly that works. What we're looking at now is a modified version of my war team. Uh, that, like I told you guys earlier in the series, my first spot is usually going to change between some type of sack bot or some type of outpost popper bot in this case because of how close those outposts are together and as close as the combiner outpost is to the other outposts i'm going to use flame war keep in mind that i did say earlier that part of the bait that they're using for this particular strategy is to go use that amalgamous prime core so that you actually have stronger outpost bots on the defensive side now I'm added Ramjet here as well because I'm only going to be able to pop the combiner outpost and the three front outposts with a flame war sack just due to the fact that otherwise I run into one of the motion sensing mines. So I'm going to take that approach to try to go create a double sack and pop Quella Gun or Twin Twist uh, just because that's one of those bots that can do a lot of damage to your team. So let's actually go into battle 
and we'll uh, just take a look and see how it goes. All right, so here I am in a uh, base trial, prime league hard mode. And so I wanna show a couple of the priorities that I'm looking at again. And so the first thing that I'm, that I'm looking at is I got that Amalgamous Prime Core uh, over on the Shock Tower that if you look at the aura that's going around it, uh, you got a pretty good shot that those outpost bots are gonna land inside that range. And so I wanna be cautious of that so that I'm not just sitting around hacking away at outpost bots for extended periods of time. Like I already mentioned, Liege, Liege Maximal Core back there in the kill zone. And I've also got a couple of FFDs here on each side that I'm probably going to want to take care of. So this is one of the few times where I'm actually going to deploy from the middle. It's very rare because I don't like to go into a lot of the congestion up the middle. But with Flame War, I already know that she's going to circle around, pop those outposts and the combiner outpost and cause those two into the enter battle and i'm also going to sweep a couple of my motion sensing mines while i'm in the process so i let her go in there pop those outposts and then what i want to do is i actually want to kind of sweep some of the mines up there in the front so i'm going to start dropping my team but i'm going to take ramjet now that i know that i've already tripped one of the motion sensing mines i want to let him walk up a little bit and i want to target i want to target this beam laser right there and at this point i'm going to drop my combiner opposite side and the reason why i do that is because i want to create a path where later on i can actually use my regular bots to destroy a lot of the stuff on the opposite side and i want to use some time to let Quellagon just kind of uses ability. I want to let Scourge use his ability. Uh, Armada Megatron, you know, these guys all have long abilities and I want to give that time for those abilities to wear out. So here, uh, only Quellagon is kind of forced a one-on-one -on -one with him because I stayed on the pad. And I'm going to start attacking some of the items that might cause me problems on the opposite side. So on the opposite side, I've got a spider mine i've got a, a, two spider mines that i'm gonna take out before he dies and then i'm gonna go up here and make sure that i win my titan battle so now i'm a little bit low on health for some of my guys because the delay took a little bit of time i'm not overly concerned about that uh, and I did wind up losing Ramjet. It's, it's all good because that is, at the end of the day, part of a sack. But I I want to conserve as many ability points as I, as I can. Because honestly, the kill zone, I'm going to need ability points to take out a lot of the items at the very top of the screen. So I'm going to try to be as patient as I can. You know, this is a good time to just select an ability, but just leave it there so you can watch everything kind of in slow motion. And I also need to make sure that I take out the Liege Maximal Cool. So I'm gonna use Blast Off for that. And I got rid of the Liege Maximal Cool. So now my healer's a little bit low on health. I still got 24 points. I just can go ahead and give the, the team a quick boost real quick. And I actually encourage them to just kind of go to that other side, pick up as many more ability points as they can. And it looks like right now they're dealing with growl. And I'm going to throw some smoke down as they head into that kill zone. Uh, now, in this case, I've already got impact a little bit low. So I'm going to use this ability on the shield generator. He's got the Amalgamous Prime Core. So he's going to continue to gain health. And also in that kill zone, I'm going to throw down some acid. And I'm, you know, I'm losing some of my some of my bots here. But as I use Axit in an AOE, I'll start knocking down all of the stuff that's sitting up there in the back, all of those defenses. And as they just sit there in the kill zone, you know, even though I lost a couple of bots, they were able to hold out. So now I want to take a look at, I want to take a look at a different strategy and it might actually be a little bit easier. So let's take a look at that. We'll switch some bots around.
All right, so we made it through with the double sack, but it was a little bit more stressful than I would prefer. I mean, I lost about half my bots. So I'm gonna try something a little bit different, see if I can preserve a little bit more of my bots, just in case I get caught off guard by anything. So what I'm gonna do, instead of going for the flame war sack, what I'm gonna do is go, I'm gonna switch to my five star runabout. If I can find them. Yeah, so we're going to use a five-star runabout. And you know, that's blurred for you guys on the Autobot side. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to equip him with the Leech Maximo core. Because what I was saying earlier is that, that Leech Maximo, uh, defensively, you want to have a counter for it. So that's going to be still be one of the items that I target. It's actually going to be a little bit easier because I can use runabout to go into a one-on-one -on -one with him. Now, I, just, I was doing some testing. I had Groundhog installed on them. I'm actually going to go run with Blowpipe, get a little bit of additional damage, make some things happen a little bit faster for me on that regard. So we'll switch him out. I'm also going to change out Ramjet. I'm not going to go for the double sack now, so there's no reason for me to have two sack bots. So I'm going to bring... One of my go-tos that I use in my war team, I'm going to bring Brawl back in so I can add more ranged attacking options. And I'm going to use Runabout as a way to take out the Amalgamous Prime Core and the Leech Maximo Prime Core. So let's go back over to the battlefield and we'll take a look at how that works. All right, so every time I start a new strategy, I'm going to reassess the situation. I still, in this case, want the target this amalgamous prime cool and i want to pop at least three to outposts so i think it's going to be this one on the left obviously it's going to be the quellagon one up at the top i want to target and i also want to target this one on the bottom uh, i still got to take care of this liege maximo core up there on that auto cannon uh kind of like i did last time though i can take care of that as i go along and so from a deployment standpoint a good practice to have is always to use the very back half if you can look where my cursor is down here on the back half of the launch pad and what that's going to do is that's going to prevent you from running into problems with those motion sensing mines up there in the front obviously that's why i'm using runabout so i'm just going to deploy him right there in the back and i'm going to start right out the gate with this ability now once i go to this shock tower where it's got the amalgamous core I'm just going to click on this ability again so that I'm ready to go as soon as I destroy that shock tower. And since I got blowpipe on them, it's going to go pretty fast. But, and I'm just ready to jump over to the next one. I'll go up there, pop Quellagon, and then I'm going to come back down. I'm actually going to target the auto cannon down here too. See if I can actually get it taken out. I might not be able to. Yeah, it looks like I'm doing pretty good. And that also absorbs the Lyokaiser hack. So now what I'm going to do, knowing the positioning of the motion sensing mines, I'm actually going to drop Impactor on the front half so that I can sweep the mines. I'm going to drop the rest of my team in the back. And I'm going to go back to that cross deploy strategy that I used on my first attempt. And one thing you want to keep in mind, if you want everything to start attacking you, then you want to have to let your combiner actually leave the pad. Like when he sits on the pad, uh, everything's not going to attack him right away. I actually want to try to force these bots to come to one side of the battlefield and anything else I can damage at this point is what I'm going to try to damage. In this case, I'm going to start targeting items that are on the opposite side of the battlefield. So I'm going to go for Spider-Man here. And I'm going to go for a Spider-Man down there on the bottom with the glass gas ball. Now, in fact, it's already out front. The rest of my team's protected. Now, I see Knockout trying to run away a little bit. I'm just going to go ahead and use his ability to try to slow him down a bit and then he turns around and just starts firing at the rest of the team now he's still running away a little bit because he wants to go take out one of the laser turrets and that's okay because he's going to catch back up so what i'll do is i'll use impactor start clearing him a path 
and my team is actually in pretty good shape right now um i want to make sure i win my titan battle though so i'll jump up and what i'm going to start doing is i'm going to start making sure that i take out that leech core so i've got enough ability points saved while these guys are kind of held up i think they're fighting growl right now is i'll use blast off one time i'll use blast off two times to make sure that i never run into any problems with that leech core and i'm actually encouraging my team right now to continue going off and veering off to the left to buy me some time to go in and get rid of that leech core and now they're going to start making their way up so i'm going to go ahead and take cutthroat this is the first time i've used this ability in this battle and throw that smoke down kind of similar to how i did the first time so as soon as they get done and they start making their way up these guys are already locked in ready to go then the same thing's going to kind of apply in this case i think i'll use impactor to take out the shield generator actually he won't reach the shield generator from right there but i got 11 points 12 points build up so i'm gonna go use knockout anybody bot that's got aoe to kind of take out multiple multiple targets and then i can use impact disability because i'm just building up more and more ability points by using the aoe attacks and it comes down pretty easily so that's two of the ways that i use and you get to look at a couple of deployment te te uh, techniques in order to take out some of these tougher bases like i said at on prime league hard mode all right and just welcome back to the lab and honestly i just want to thank you guys for watching uh if you haven't already like the video and if you're not a subscriber go ahead and subscribe uh just wanted to take some time out and show like some of these really tough bases sometimes we can make them a lot easier um when you use the appropriate deployment and bot combo strategies so anyway i won't be on live stream this week but the plan is if i can get all the information from the newsletter in time to make a recorded video uh, as I'll be on vacation in Colorado this weekend. But I will see you guys next week for the live stream, and I will see you guys on the battlefield. Freezy is out.